I'm Lexi Cooper with Clackamas News Online here at Gregory Forum giving blood for CCC's seasonal blood drive. blood because it's a good cause. I can save people's lives by giving them my blood. It doesn't hurt me besides me being scared. It doesn't do anything wrong to me besides me possibly passing out, but that's not a big deal. This is no big deal. I'm very nervous and scared to give blood, but it's okay because it's for a good cause. Part after you register that um, Lexi's going through now is a questionnaire and personal info part. What they're doing is they are asking her questions about where she's traveled, how she's felt, any exposures that she's had to certain types of things, and they're going to also check her temperature. They're going to do a fingerprint and check the level of iron in her blood. If her iron isn't high enough, she will be. Um, I can't remember the terminology that they use, but she will not be allowed to donate blood today if that happens to her. But uh, the way to keep that from happening is to eat a really full meal before you come here, get lots of rest, drink lots and lots of water. And in fact, if you know you have an iron issue, you need to eat really high iron foods for like two weeks before you come to donate blood. Um, and then as soon as they get done with that part and she qualifies, then she'll just go on over to donate. Great. And how important is it to give blood? It's very important. It saves a lot of lives. Uh, there are a lot of people who are in need of blood, and you never know when it might be you. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. So my name is Kayla. We're with the Red Cross Blood Drive. Um, right now, Lexi is doing some uh, health history questions. Um, we went in and took a bunch of vitals from her, her blood pressure, her pulse. Uh, we tested her hematocrit to make sure that, or her hemoglobin, to make sure that she's not anemic, um, as well as her temperature. And right now she's answering questions about her health history past. Um, obviously these questions are very important because you want to make sure that the blood supply is safe. And so that's why it's completely confidential in case she wants to tell us anything. We obviously don't want any outside sources to um, inhibit what she's going to tell us. So that's what she's doing right now. And as soon as she's done with that, we will review the questions and grab a blood bag and take her out to donor room and she will donate. So the scrub that we did with the iodine is a two-part scrub. Um, we do a random scrub just to get up all of the dirt, uh, skin cells, that sort of thing that might, <coughs> excuse me, that might be on the um, on her arm, and then the second one is a is a circular scrub going outwards from the needle point uh, to get everything moved away from where we're actually going to go in because then it's a completely sterile area. So if that helps at all. At least I know the needle's clean and I'm clean. <laughs> You're not allergic to iodine. That's always positive. Yeah. <laughs> So this wrap is going to stay on, clean and dry for about five hours. No heavy lifting or vigorous activity during that time. We want you to drink lots and lots and lots of water for the next couple of days because we pretty much just dehydrated you. Canteen for about 10 minutes. 
call us if you remember any important health information, or if you decide for whatever reason your blood's not safe for anybody else to use, or if you forgot to tell us something back in the booth, you need to give us a call as well. Okay. If you get a fever of 99.6 degrees or higher, we also need to get a phone call. Doesn't mean you're going to get a fever from donating blood, but if it's already in your system, it's obviously going to be in here, and we want to make sure we don't get back to you. Okay. All right. So this right here is everything I told you. Everybody gets one. That's your own personal number on the bottom. Okay. So you want to make sure to keep that separate from everybody else. Okay. And this is a survey. You can fill it out once you get over there as well. Okay, thank All you. Right. How are you feeling? Good. Normal? Yeah. You are good to go, Lexi. You did awesome. <laughs> thank you. Huh? Thank you so much. If I can do it, so can you. Blood drive takes place every term, so if you missed it this term, be sure to show up next term for a great cause and free cookies.